All right. So we kind of work through stuff positionally. So the P system addresses P1, P2 is not bad, but as we start getting into P2 with you, Craig, and I'll explain this, so I'll explain this. You, you guys start doing the Rockettes drill outside? Good. All right. So we'll get more into that. But what happens with you is your arms now, your arms separate a bunch, and that compromises the left wrist, and you get you get this kind of a cuppy lead wrist condition, which opens the face too much. So right now, the elbows separate too much. And then when the face comes down, it comes down open. So you're in a situation now where you're kind of fighting to square it. And to square it, you kind of got to get on top of it a little bit. Divots can be a little deep. The left hand, so the, did the coaches touch on your left hand out there? Okay. So this is, I'll give you an example here of what you're going to work on. And all you, this is good for all you guys to listen to. So if I put myself in here. We're going to, in your situation, narrow your stance up a sliver and flare your feet a little bit. I'm talking narrow the stance maybe two inches, not much, and the feet can be split, splayed out. Your left foot's fine, your right foot, give it a couple degrees, and we'll check that box. We're going to fix this left hand a little bit and then see how it relates to how the right hand goes on. But here's the shoulder box. Here's the shoulder box. Okay? Watch the back swing. Watch how the lead shoulder works. Kind of down quite a bit, okay? And then watch what's happening with your shoulder. So your shoulder is working kind of lateral and really doesn't move down much to, into the bottom of that box, does it? So see how there's not a lot of down? And th what happens is when that, when that happens, watch what it does to your head. So see how your head has to rise? So your head goes up a bunch, okay, because your shoulder doesn't go down. So, you know, if you watch that uh, the window or the door jam back there, as my shoulder is going down, my head can stay pretty level, can in fact it compress a bit. Okay, so come on up here on the in the on the mat. Let's touch on this. Get your good hands on there, show me what they did with that left hand. Good. So that, we're just trying to get this wrist bone, like literally right on top, whatever that big bone in there is called, cap tape bone, I think. Get that bone right on top of the grip, okay? Now put your right hand on, okay? And this thumb rests peacefully on the other side. So now I'm going to get the oil can out. And that's not for the fingers. That's for you to have sort of strong fingers and mobility in the wrist. You with me? Strong fingers, supple wrists, okay? Now, the feet, flare them out just a sliver each. Perfect. And we'll take this thing down and set it right there. And maybe the ball is a little too close, but that looks... Now you got some perfect hands. Now, I'm going to move your shoulder and try to kind of go along with this with me, okay? So setup looks great. Looks like you're going to thump it. And I'm going to take this shoulder and I'm going to work it. You're going to make a backswing and I'm going to push it where I want it to go. Boom, stop. Okay? And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to put this where I want it to go. And this shoulder's fighting me a lot, so I'm curious how that shoulder is. Go back down to the ball for me. Okay, so let me have the club just for a sec. Okay, let's go up like this, like you're asking a question in class. Okay, so that's not bad. So now go into a forward bend, 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 bend. Okay, that's good. Okay, so you should be able to do this. All right, so get left hand on there, the left wrist on top. Perfect. Okay. Right hand on there. Peaceful right thumb over there. Dynamite. Good. Set that sucker down. Club never touches the ground. It always measures right there. So it measures right to the green stuff. Okay. Now, hold on one second. Let me reset this. Backswing ready. Go. Boom. Stop. Okay. Awesome. Come over. Take a look. So this is part of the Rockettes, part of what we're doing with how we're going to tweak your, get you positionally badass, okay? So on the right screen, I mean, you already look better, just in some of the little nuances of whatever the coaches did with you or whatever you took on. But now watch what I'm doing with your lead shoulder. 
You're getting banged in the ass by your buddy here on camera. Okay. It's, it's, it is. It is. It is Friday. So this is P1. This is great. I'm putting this on social media. So this is this is P1. Perfect. Okay. P2. The club passes through the hands. Perfect. P3. Left arm's going to parallel. Now you start to see how that elbow starts to sneak behind you a bit. The right one. Yeah. It's starting to go a little bit retracting. Well, it's not tighter. You need to keep the handle a little bit more away from you. Okay. So and we'll do that with that inflatable ball out there. Because what's happening, this is perfect compared to, see how the shoulders are starting to turn parallel to the ground? Yeah, so we're going to work with you left shoulder down because I really think you're going to be 115, not 106. Because here you, you can't really hit it. I'm amazed you do. Okay, that's good hand-eye coordination, wrist shot stuff. My shoulders are too flat there. Way too so flat. Right, my shoulders are almost at a 30, well, 40 degree or 45 degree. Exactly. Well, so I. Well, so let's look face on. I'll explain. So I'm going to be a bit in the way here. Is the problem? Yeah, I got to get out of the way. So go do that one more time. So you guys, and here's what's going to happen: is you guys go through this and you post random videos, and it's and as I send, I send Fitz tons of bills for being a pain in the ass and edify. Right, so you're gonna. So that's P1, perfect. A little bit of toe flare. The left shoulder goes to here. Go there. You go. Come down, 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 down. Good. Feel wide, 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 wide. Good. Okay, and that's it. You're at the top of your golf swing as you know it now. Are you with me? So it, trust me, it's plenty far because when you add inertia to this, it's gonna go. It's gonna go higher. Are you with me? Any sort of fake folding, relax, relax, relax. Any of this crap, you just gotta see. You gotta time that out. We don't want to do that. Okay. So go ahead and step back to the ball. Okay, the, the shaft wouldn't be that forward leaning at address. It'd be a bit more vertical. So the hands would be a bit more in front of your zipper rather than in front of your left thigh. So stand the shaft up a bit more. That's better. Good. So the back swing, ready? So left shoulder down under the chin. Good, good, good. And feel how this, you want this to, this dimension to be sort of narrow right in here. All right, and that's what I'm going to, we're going to put a, like, an inflatable ball in here and have you hit a bunch of shots. And so see how much this is trying to get you across the line? You know, that's where the relaxation in here needs to come from. You with me? Because now this is just like you being in drivers off your knees. You couldn't really do it, could you? Because this shaft got steep and then it didn't make any sense in front of you. I'm going to want this to be a little bit more, yeah, relaxed here so that when you use the ground, put a little pressure here and then start to unwind, that's how you're going to smash it inside out because the club's orbiting inside out. You're not trying to artificially just shove it inside out. Does that make sense? Okay. So, you know, when you change direction, so listen to this, fellas. Like, here goes how to seat for a sec. So I'll get this club going, right? So there's, how, how do I get this to move faster and faster? What force am I using? A little bit of an upward tug gets this thing going really, really fast. So you can time the sense of when to apply, huh? When do I apply? Not now. If I did it... If I, if I did an upward force now, it wouldn't make any sense. But as it's working down, I can tug, and I can make the thing pick up speed and have more inertia, right? Well, the golf swing's like that. That's why some little freaks can bomb it. Ryan, you'll meet this little Canadian guy. He's epically long, and he's phenomenal. Ryan Davis is his name, okay? He hits it nine miles. He's this big. He swings at 120 and hits it straight. He, he will win on the Canadian Tour this year. He wins everything down here this winter. Okay, the kid's a freak. So there's there's there's... Moments in here where forces, come on, sweetheart, you're good. So this motion, right, this kind of behavior can really create, I create speed just with upward tugs, right? Well, in golf, it's not just, we're not just playing this game Ferris wheel style. We're playing this inclined circle. So think about this. Now, instead of just up and down, I have out and ins that I need, right? I have some out and ins. The problem is you can't have the outs because you got the steeps. And then you figure it out, and you're stronger than the average bear, so you muscle it out there reasonably, right? Now, if we can get you kind of organized here, now you can have this, some rotation, and not only rotation that goes outward, but some of this counterbalancing inward that helps that you really snap the thing out. That's why I think they'll be way faster than 106. Okay, I'm 106, okay? You can eat me for lunch. Now... You, we just got to get you a lot more organized and a little bit, you know, strong fingers, but mobile so that 
if I if if I'm rotating, I want the club to, to the inertia of the club to want to go behind me. I don't want to pull down and force the club vertically. The club, the weight of the club is always going to go in the direction of the forced pull, right? So if I'm working hard rotationally and the club's going behind me, now that thing swings shallowly inside out. And that's what you don't have, and that's what you don't have, and that's what you don't have, and that's what you don't have. All right? So that's why I thought, well, those the, the East Coast guys all have kind of jacked up grips and stances and things. You guys are all in pretty good shape. You move well, but the club all gets a little steep and a little open. And then your case, you kind of, I call it stall and square, right? And you do a pretty good job of then hit some good shots and can break 80 on a good day. But the power is not really there either. Okay, you're, you know, you've got the bad right hand, you're kind of new to the game, you just kind of want to hit it nice, don't swing too hard at it, because you might hit it crooked, right, and so you're, I want to get you feeling like you can have structure and wind it up and give it a mashing, okay, so you understand kind of what we're doing with you? So, you look decent here, we're setting you up a little bit better, and as you go to, you know, P2, I'm up a little too high, and then P3, you're going to feel like that's all you got in your swing. Done. Because anything static won't go higher than that. That only goes higher than that when it's got the inertia to go to the top, which we call P4. Does that make sense? And then you'll feel like, okay, I can unwind that. And I can. And the, the thing is, guys, the biggest illusion in golf is that we all want to do this. We all want to try to line up the eyes, the hands, the club, and the ball. Everybody kind of starts off golf going, okay, don't miss it. Right? But golf is more than more than that. It's nothing lines up. You know, we're kind of unwinding and the club head catches up later and you gotta have a you have to have the courage to let that happen. And when it happens you're like, Wow, that's pretty cool. Paul will rock it off the golf club face. I mean you already hit a lot of good shots, you, all you guys do. Okay, you can just do it a lot harder. Right? And you'll do it a lot faster with more control of the face, because right now you're kinda of wiping it out there as you guys all are, right? So you understand what we're going to do with you? Okay. So let's take a look at fits here. Sorry, let me 